Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in the previous tutorial, we have already seen uh, how we, we how we should make use of the if statements and all. So if statements can be mainly used to whenever we want to check a file, whether it's a directory or a normal file, or else if you want to mm, you know uh, display the file and also you want to display the permission that the respect, respective file is having. For those things and all, you can use the if statements, and um, also uh, you can uh, now we'll just move on to the uh, case statement. We'll see how the case statement will work uh, in Unix environment. Uh, it's just same um, uh, programmers who have already worked on C language and all. They must be knowing how the case statement works. It's just the same thing, uh, only that we will be uh, using the echo to print and uh, read to read the variable, and that's it. And apart from that, mm, uh, in the next tutorial, we'll see uh, what are the loops that are available in Unix environment. So now let me uh, create a file in. Um, let me create a shell script so it's mm, vi i'll just name it as um, case.sh so here i'm going to start with uh, asking the end user to enter some number enter a number between uh, 1 to between 1 and 5 ok so once the uh, end user uh, enters the number I will be storing that number in a variable called uh, num ok and now let me start the case uh, statement so I am going to say case dollar num ok and I am just checking what is what what is the number that the our end user has entered so 1 if it is 1 you can see that if this this is just the option if it is one then uh, i'm going to echo out uh, telling uh, just make sure that you are giving spaces echo um does uh, you have entered one okay and uh, while ending make sure you are giving two uh, semicolons okay it's enclosed by two semicolons so in the same way two then echo you have entered uh, two okay it's just a uh, basic program just for your uh, more understanding we'll see uh, the programs that make use of these kind of uh, echo statement if statement and all in the other upcoming tutorials so you have entered 3 ok let me stop it here uh, stop the you know echoing out here uh, and in the worst case if they this is going to be the you know the other values if they enter then I am going to just echo out telling that uh, if apart from 3 if they enter something then I am going to say invalid uh, entry ok so that's it let me save this file and now when I run this file I'm going to say enter 1 ok so showing an unexpected uh, end of the file ok I'm very sorry mm, you haven't ended the uh, case uh, I mean you when whenever you do the if statement you will be ending it with the if I in the same way whenever you are starting with a case statement you need to end it with something right so here the case statement is going to end with the uh, the reverse of case that is um, ESAC ok I forgot that I am really sorry so let me save this file and now when I run you can see you have entered 1 ok again when I uh, enter something else apart from uh, 3 let me say 6 invalid entry ok so this is how the case statement will work uh, uh, hope you guys have understood so in the other upcoming tutorials we will see uh, how we can make use of these statements and all um, for now just uh, you know, um, if you have any queries then comment below this video or else mail me and also please uh, subscribe to my channel like my videos um, there are many more uh, videos that are available in my channel like uh, for the topics like SQL, PL SQL and Informatica and if you have any queries if you want to learn any other topic then please do mail me I'll try to uh, make the uh, 
uh, videos on the same as soon as possible and uh, thank you very much for watching